So with the last episode in which I did the enlisted news, we got a lot of new changes to, well, suspended new changes now we get it. Ellen said suspended weapons rebalance, and this essentially has been suspended, like I said, because of the fact that there is a lot of interesting and weird stuff going on. Number one is the entire list of minus 50% or sometimes even 40% in terms of bomb loadout or stuff like that. For example, the P-47 went from 10 rockets to 4 rockets and one 50 500 pound bomb, which still exists. The uh, Messerschmitt 410 went from 4 rockets to 2 rockets. And then you have other plays that got upgraded uh, for in case, for example, the Yak-1 got from 2 50kg bombs to 2 100 kilogram bomb so that's very interesting the entire list is right here so that's gonna be very interesting but needless to say a lot of people are angry and a lot of people are understandably very angry but um, a lot of people also support this which makes sense and I know why they support it because if you played allies Normandy or played Axis Normandy for that case uh, if you've been faced with a JU-188 or you've been literally faced with essentially the um, P-47, then you understand what the heck is going on, and it's a really, really bad situation, it's very bad in my opinion. And the main reason, I would say, is not because the planes are overpowered. Yes, they are overpowered, but it is not overpowered if you know how to counter them. The first way that you can essentially counter them is essentially deploying one of two things. One of them is essentially deploying anti-aircraft guns, which from my opinion, no one does. And when they do, because of thank you to the new enlisted system, in the sense that we got new anti-aircraft guns, those things are essentially pea shooters. I literally was in a game in which I was trying to shoot them down, but it never worked because those things can't take it down. Literally, it doesn't do anything. Like, literally, you have a better chance of taking out some machine gun and downing them than deploying anti-aircraft guns. That is my opinion, and it has pretty much been proven because I see JU-188s and P-47s roaming around the air uncontended and being a person who was in a game in a P-47 and flying around, those anti-aircraft guns do nothing. They literally would not do anything. Hence, this is the exact reason why I would advocate for bringing back the old AA guns and giving us quote unquote the essentially AA guns for every other faction so that's gonna be very interesting. Or should I say, essentially giving us better AA guns, like the quads for the Americans, the quads for the Germans, the quads for the Soviets. But historically, they all had their own historical uh, variations of better anti-aircraft guns. The anti-aircraft guns that we have now are just a joke. The second thing that we, I have to say is the fact that we don't have a lot of aircraft and the reason in the air is hunting these planes down and the reason why is very very simple. No one wants to play an aircraft that hunts down planes unless there's actually bombers and the reason is simply because if we jeopardize the air or we deploy planes in the air then we essentially jeopardize what's going on on the ground which is much more important in my opinion. So that's that. But. If you ask me, the real change that I really want to see is aircraft could get their own upgraded weapon, or should I say, aircraft can select their own weapons for a map, essentially like the War Thunder system in which you can select your weapons for a loadout. For example, a P-47 can uh, bring 10 H-4 missiles or, or a one 500-pound bomb, or they can switch it up to two H-4s and two 500-pound bombs. Or, in the case of some planes, you can switch it up to 12 h bars, which is absolutely insane. This literally has been happening in Tunisia and Normandy, in the sense that you have both A-20s in different campaigns, and one has 12 rockets, one has a lot of bombs. So, honestly, if you if the merge is going to happen, and if everyone wants things confirmed to be happen, I highly, highly suggest that Enlist gives us the opportunity to essentially edit our loadout, which is very, very interesting. It's essentially the thing that War Thunder has. It should essentially be in the game, in my opinion. But should Enlisted debuff the planes? No. Should Enlisted upgrade our anti-aircraft abilities? Yes. Because anti-aircraft guns are very good at taking out planes, and planes too, but essentially we have very bad equipment of taking out planes, and they're just gonna kill us. But needless to say, that's that. This is all I have for the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join Discord. What do you guys think of the aircraft rebalance, and what do you think of adding anti-aircraft guns, or should I say better anti-aircraft guns? And what do you think of suspended armaments that you can customize loadouts? That's that. Have a great day, guys. Comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one.